What's up everybody? Today uh, we're going to uh, do some uh, throttle adjustments because as you can see this has no move in it. It literally has no play. So we're going to properly adjust it uh, by doing by removing the tank, adjusting the throttle cables at the bottom, then adjusting the throttle cables at the top, um, and then getting a better view for it. Because right now it's pretty much right away. There is no uh, play in it, so we'll need to correct that. Okay, so we have the tank off, uh, and uh, we have this screw here, or this entire assembly, and the other one behind it. Those are the two that we're going to be adjusting today. So let's uh, first loosen it up as much as possible on the top. Uh, so that we get as much free play and then we'll adjust these I'm thinking right now. It looks like Each of them is very loose uh, Maybe we'll need to adjust further. Let's see Okay, so I just I loosened the um, Return cable the push cable essentially uh, And moved the bottom screw up a few threads. Now the result that's had on here is the return spin. I actually have a, a little bit of slack before I kick it in, which we want that. Now that's great, so I'll tighten that. Um, as far as the throttle goes, you can see that it's absolutely stretched to the max, so we're going to try to screw that in as well to create more slack at the top uh, and then do the adjustments on top. Uh, I also did tighten these to the max, which they were pretty much already tightened. So let's uh, screw this one back down and then loosen the other one. Okay, so this is after the adjustment. Um, I had to back out the um, return cable uh, more because it seems like there's a little bit more slack in it. So. I turned it up uh, as well as the throttle I screwed it in a lot more um, so then at the top we have the return cables adjusted just slightly bit more stretched and then the throttle is very tiny bit more stretched so now we actually have so if you follow the little scratch here you have quite a bit of play which is what you want. The reason you want that play in the throttle is um, the cables, even though they're technically metal cables and they're routed in, they don't move around much, uh, they still end up having different tension on them depending on how the motorcycle stands. So right now it's centered, but if I were to turn it full left, it's different than full right. And what you don't want is this um, adjustment to be completely tight so that um, when you turn, it actually ends up giving the throttle, so it ends up breaking the engine. That's actually dangerous. So you want that to be adjusted so that there is that slack, especially when you're doing U-turns uh, where you don't have any throttle going. Uh, and uh, that's to keeping you safe. So now I'm just going to put back everything together and uh, get it started and go okay everything is assembled give us a choke throttle is nice and loose let it snap back i raised the uh, idle a little bit just to let it warm up but uh, the main thing that i wanted to check is Throttle is straight, nice and loose. Pull left, it's not revving up. Nice and loose. Pull right, nice and loose, it's not revving up. So, uh, our adjustment is actually good. So, I'm gonna let it fully warm up and take it for a ride. 
Alright guys, that was it for this episode. Make sure to subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications when new videos become available. Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.